Hey guys, what's up? My name is Hannah Naguse. Uh, welcome to my channel. Um, if you click this video and you are a new believer, I just want to say welcome to the family. Welcome to the family. Um, I just want you to know that there are thousands and there are millions of angels in heaven rejoicing that you've made the decision to follow Christ and I'm right here with you. I am so proud of you. You have chosen life over death. You have chosen Jesus over everything and you may be a little bit confused. You may be, it may have cost you a lot of, you may have to sacrifice a lot of things but I promise you it is so, so, so worth it. I'm so pumped for you. Like I'm just so happy. Um, so I just want to share a little scripture with you and to encourage you. Okay, so I'm going to be reading from Matthew 28, verse 18 to 19. Then Jesus came to them and said, All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. I love this verse. It has spoken to me in this season because it's, it's, it's a commandment and it's a commission for everybody, for everyone who has received Christ. It is um it shows the lord's heart the lord just wants his children back he wants to buy everybody back from darkness you know it pains him to see you in pain um and what he's calling us to do is to follow in his footsteps so jesus made the perfect example he was the perfect lamb and so we follow in his footsteps i just want to say that i may not be with you discipling teaching you living life with you um baptizing you and all those things but i do believe that these videos can play into that part of your faith journey although we may never meet in person um and maybe that's not a big deal for you <laughs> um be encouraged that god is with you to the very end of the age he's with you to the very end y'all to the end to the end of your rope to the end of your life he's with you um and I just want you to know all of the authority that you're afraid of, all of the authority that you're personally under, all the authority that you see in this world, nothing, none of it even matters because it says right here, all of the authority in heaven and on the earth has been given to Jesus himself. So that's why God tells us boldly to go out and make disciples and do it. You know why? Because we have the authority to do so. We have the permission to do so. We have like the check mark, go ahead, you're verified, go ahead and do it, change the world. Um, because all the authority belongs to Christ and Christ is in me, amen? So I just want you to know, new Christian, um, that God is with you to the very end of the age. Be encouraged. There's gonna be a lot of people that walk in your life and a lot of people that walk out of your life. Do not be discouraged, God is with you. He's with you. He chose you. You were the one he was looking for. He has been pursuing you your whole life. I am so amped about this message because it is a message that saves millions. It is a message that saved me. Um, I also just want to remind you, bro, sis, you are on a journey. You are on the most beautiful journey you could ever be on. You are on a journey. Perfection doesn't happen like that. I don't know how you came to know God. It might have been a miraculous thing. It may have been a certain moment. Maybe God really just spoke into your heart. It may have been an, an immediate um, I'm healed moment. But for a lot of you, it may have just been a slow progression. And I just want to tell you that is okay. It is a journey. Um, my journey has consisted of a lot of highs and a lot of lows and a lot of confusion. There were years, there were months where I was battling with God internally. I still fall in sin to this day. God is not done with me yet. I think the most beautiful part is if you ask anybody in their faith journey, if they can look back on the years with Christ, if you ask them, hey, would you trade that for just, you know, a very simple, peaceful life, whatever, um, without God, they would all say no. Because once you have God, you realize that nothing else on this world truly matters but Him. Moses said to the Lord when the Lord was just so disappointed with the Israelites when they um, were worshiping idols and sinning once again. And, uh, you know, the Lord said, okay, just, just go into the promised land. Just go this way, but I won't go with you. And Moses said, he said, Lord, if you do not go with us, we are not going. Meaning, you can get all the blessings in the world. You can have all of the peace you've ever wanted, all of the money. You can have a very happy life that you've dreamed of for yourself. But if not, if God is not going with you, I'm telling you right now, it's not worth it. It's not worth it.
Lord, I need you to go with me. I need you to go before me and behind me, beside me, all around me, inside me. I need you, God. As Christians, we sometimes worship and look forward to the blessings of God, but not God himself. The blessings of God are very real and are for you. But, you know, the person who blessed us, God himself, is the real ultimate prize. It says that he is our inheritance and we are his inheritance. Meaning, like, he is, he is my portion. He is what I get in exchange for the life I left behind. Everything on this earth, everything that I can physically see and touch will fade away one day. All of the money I can collect, all of my investments, all of my ducks in a row, all of my, you know, things will fade away one day. But the one thing that won't fade away is eternal life and is my soul with Christ and is with Jesus himself. It says the word of God is firmly fixed in the heavens, meaning that is something you can depend on. So I'm just encouraging you to put your feet on the rock, which is Jesus Christ, to put your feet on the word of God and be sturdy with it and love it so much because that is something that will never fade away. This is a journey, you know, we're all about progressing in our faith journey. You may be on a different page and I may be on a different page, but listen, we got the same author writing the same beautiful story that all works together. So I want to encourage you. It doesn't matter if, you know, the past five months you've just been partying straight. It doesn't matter if, um, You've been doing the most horrible things ever. God has chosen you and picked you for this time and he loves you and forgives you. All he calls you to do, I'm sorry, I have to reach out because it's windy out here in this tripod. But what I'm trying to say is repent is truly turning, turning away from that direction and looking up to God. So that's, that's what I want you to do. That's what Christians we need to be doing constantly is repenting turning back there are times where i find myself walking on the wrong direction and i find myself walking in um in the wrong way and god is just so gentle and good and his kindness really leads me to repentance where i'm like you're right and i turn um just know that this is a journey i've said it 10 times but it's a journey it's a journey it's a journey i also want you to know that your bible is going to be your best friend this is what you need this is your sword okay this is what you need equip yourself with the bible if you don't have one there is a bible app there are so many options for you to get a free bible the bible is the sword it is the spirit we worship the lord in spirit and in truth so if you do not have his word with you you're not worshiping him correctly you're not you know being activated to pray in the right way so knowing your bible is vital to this walk with the lord i also want to say prayer is your lifeline yo you need it there are times where i am down times where i am just weak or times where i'm like just coasting through life and i have been on my knees praying and the holy spirit will come and and help me pray he says you know sometimes you don't even know how to pray and the spirit will enable you to pray meaning i don't know what to say sometimes and god comes through and says it for me um when i enter my prayer closet i may be you know scared and i may be like bored or tired but when i exit my prayer closet i am a whole new person i am bold i am bright and i'm ready to take on the day so prayer is your lifeline y'all you need that i also just want to say community is so important and i know it may be hard right now if you don't have community you're the only christian in your family there are no christian or churches around you in your neighborhood or anything like that yeah i get it it's it's really really hard um but if you're blessed with the internet there are so many online communities that i'm personally part of that have helped me in my walk and i know it's hard when you're the only one i've been there um but god is walking with you and god started something in you so he's gonna finish that something in you and i just want to say lastly keep going keep keep going keep pushing um god is really faithful he is so good and this journey and walk with him is so worth it and the, what God is going to do in your life and in your family he's going to do in you and through you is something you can't even imagine so I just want you to keep going God doesn't care if you've fallen you've sinned you've messed up a million times in this one day you know a righteous man uh, a, a man that falls a righteous man falls seven times but he gets back up so get back up keep going keep pushing i'm with you i'm celebrating with you you've done a good thing okay
This is the year of the Lord. 